All right, so like I said in our welcome video that I wanted to show you and demonstrate to you uh, what a program created for crafters uh, looks like as well as how simple things are with just a few clicks of the mouse. You can get some of the amazing effects that uh, will not cause you headaches. So, for example, uh, I usually show this one and people are really amazed with it. So I'm just going to select the shape and under the effects menu, I have this thing called Shadow Layer Contour Cut. And this little window will pop up and as you can see, we already have one nice little shadow layer. But once I do this, uh, people seem to be amazed on uh, how easy it is with just a few clicks that we can get some unique shadowing effects with this. All right. So that's the shadow layer. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and I'm going to go to this next tab here. So here's another thing that people are amazed with as well. So I have a big circle, little circle, and I'm just going to select them both. And I'm going to back to this effects menu, and because it does have a lot of great effects that, uh, that come with it that are very easy. So object on a path, that's what this will do here. I'm going to go ahead and auto preview. And as you can see, uh, our circle uh, jumped onto this circle, but... Uh, I only have one of them. Check this out. With a simple drop-down menu, I got Fill Path. So that just filled my entire circle up with these little circles. Now, for the next thing, I'm going to click this Weld button. And I'm also going to change the spacing gap so that they're a little bit closer. Now, look at that. I just made, I just made a pearl ring. All right. Next thing I can do is I can go ahead and click OK. Now, what if I... If I just want to make this a scalloped circle, check this out. I highlighted both of those, and I'm just going to go to Path Union, and now I have a scalloped circle, all right? So another great feature within this program that's really easy to do, a lot of people, they want to create shadow text uh, around this, or maybe even what we call as a shadow blackout. So I wanted to show you how easy it is. This is just normal text. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go ahead and click this little wrench here in the style I can have it be a shadow. So now when we bring this on here, we have a nice little shadow behind our text. All right, let's go ahead and change this to a shadow uh, blackout. And what this is going to do, it's going to fill in those holes, but still give us the shadow. So it looks something like this. All right. Now you can also even change this to just a normal uh, blackout. You know, it's going to lose the shadow and it's going to fit nice and snug with that text, okay? So uh, check that out right here, blackout, and you can just see that the inside of the shapes are filled in, all right? So those are just a few things, and you, you saw how easy it was with just a click of the mouse and uh, an effect. So like I said, Inkscape designed for those folks that are out there that, that are web designers, illustrators, these programs right here designed for crafters out there in order to design because they know that you want simplicity, all right? So I'm going to leave you with that. Check out the other video uh, relating to the other software, Make the Cut, and maybe you can even download the trial of both of them and see which one fits for you. Like I said, both of these programs here will export to an SVG file that you can utilize with, uh, you know, for example, maybe those Cricut Design Space users out there, they can upload an SVG.